Hello YouTube, this is Tim Canadian Comic Hunter coming at you once again with another comic book haul. Alright, so um, yeah, I just wanted to <laughs> just wanted to thank everyone once again for uh, checking out my channel and uh, entering uh, the contest uh, that was uh, that just ended. So uh, thanks a lot, um, 300 subs. You know, honestly guys, it's amazing. I, I can't... I can't, I can't say much more than that. It's just, it's uh, really amazing to be part of this community and keep doing what we're doing. Anyways, uh, just want to give a couple of shout outs when, before I start my comic book haul today. So uh, there's a couple contests going on. So if you haven't checked it out so far, Area 51, really cool. Another uh, Canuck out there in uh, Alberta, Canada. So he's uh, running a contest. Uh, it's pretty pretty cool contest. So check it out. And uh, basically uh, you got to show off your, uh, your room. So, uh, or your, your man cave or your woman cave or whatever. Uh, also, wannabe collector just uh, hit his, uh, uh, I think it was 100 subs, and uh, he's putting out a pretty cool contest too. So, um, like, uh, if you don't know who Area 51 or wannabe collector is, uh, just uh, check the description below, and I'm gonna have uh, some links, and you can uh, add them and sub them up, okay? Because um, really, really uh, cool, cool uh, YouTube channels. And also just wanted to give some shout outs to some other guys that are coming up and they're doing some really good stuff. Uh, so the comic book uh, 305, once again, really awesome hauls. Check out his stuff. And his Spidey Comic 7, amazing videos. Uh, it doesn't disappoint. Check out these channels, you know, try to get them past 200 subs. That would be awesome. And uh, yeah, and the comic book Estite uh, is having his uh, yearly, uh, I guess it's uh, the youtuber awards uh video submission so uh, if you can get in for the comic book estate definitely uh check his channel out check out the uh, check out the uh, awards uh, uh categories and uh vote you know i'm gonna vote but uh, i'll probably vote uh, i'll just put my vote basically uh, what is it on the um on the uh, on his uh his uh video for that uh contest it's not a contest but it's more of a you know, award thing. And uh, check out The Chinist. Uh, he's really good with reviews and uh, definitely I get a lot of good information from newer books from him. Even though I don't pick up all, all his new books, definitely I find a lot of great inf information from The Chinist. So uh, check those guys out. So uh, I know I was rambling on for a little bit long, but it's important for people to, you know, uh, sub each other up. So, all right. So uh, this uh, first part of the haul is going to be indie books or books you could look out for, some spec books. Uh, so, um, the hot book basically right now is the Danger Girl previews. Uh, it's, it's, it pretty much shot up overnight. So, if you can get the foil variant, that's the one to get. But these books are pretty good to have too. So, uh, Danger Girl number one. So, this is the first series of Danger Girl. So, uh, I picked up uh, the whole series basically. So, I got two, two copies of the uh, Danger Girl number one. They go from anywhere from 10 to $15 online. So, uh, this is the. Uh, the bubble bath <laughs> bubble bath uh, cover J. Scott Campbell love this cover uh, definitely a nice cover to pick up this is not a J. Scott Campbell but it was number three uh, I picked it up in a set so for basically all these books I paid forty dollars for so it roughly came out to about four dollars a book yeah it's another great J. Scott Campbell danger girl like, uh, basically, a lot of these books are shooting up slowly because of the fact that the uh, movie uh, was announced that they were going, uh, they were they were in talks to do a movie or a television show. So, not a bad thing to try to pick up the uh, first run. So, you got some villains and you got some, definitely some some material that could be looked at uh, for, for the film. So, owning some of these might be a small, small, small investment. All right, so the next cover is uh, Grim Fairy Tales 102. This is the Jenny Friesen cover. So she, she's done a couple of these Grim Fairy Tale covers. So I found this one uh, for a couple bucks. Uh, didn't want to leave it there. It was really cool. It was at a flea market, so it was kind of cool. Uh, this is a Greg Horn cover, Ezra, number one. Uh, don't know much about this. Just a really, really nice Greg Horn cover. Um, really like Greg Horn. I didn't have this cover, so uh, Ezra, yeah. Good, good, really good, uh, cool cover. This is Neverland Hook number one. This is the art room cover. Really cool, James Hook and company, Tinkerbell. 
Damsels one, I uh, gotta, thanks, uh, gotta thank uh, Alfred83, I saw it on his video. So Damsels, J. Scott Campbell, really awesome cover, really cool. Shaharazan, uh, I can't pronounce it. Number five, again, uh, saw this title on um, Alfred83's channel. Uh, so I couldn't find the number one with the mermaid, so I found this one. This one's really nice too. I uh, got this for cover price, so uh, it's pretty cool. They're hard to find. I, I really couldn't find this title anywhere, so. Wonderland number one. This is another Greg Horn cover. Really, really cool cover. Realm Wars Age of Darkness number one. This is a, a connecting cover. It's one of, uh, there's uh, three different titles. Each one was done by J. Scott Campbell, so. Again, these are books to look out for that are not uh, your regular superhero type books, indie books uh, that might be a little bit harder to find, lower print runs on these, uh, but definitely cool if you are definitely a completionist to some of the works of J. Scott Campbell, Greg Horn, and Art Germ, you know, so. And talking about Art Germ, I got myself another Grim Fairy Tales 99 because I gifted one away to games, so I went out and was looking for another one, so. Uh, so that's about it. It's a beautiful, beautiful red queen art trim cover. All right, <laughs> let's continue. All right, so we're back again. And uh, like I said, uh, now this section of books that you're going to see are all different keys or maybe some spec books that you might be looking for, or you might want to look for. So, uh, Anyway, so I was, uh, was uh, these are, the, I was uh, basically uh, not cover hunting, but I was uh, going through some dollar bins and I found these NYX in there. Now, number three is not in there, but this is pretty cool anyway. So these are Joshua Middleton covers. These are beautiful, beautiful covers. Uh, this is the first appearance of Kinden Nix. Uh, she was in the NYX series also, so, but really, really underrated book. Really cool character. So I got the first one and the second one, both for a dollar. So can't go wrong. Not with Joshua Middleton, not with NYX. You never know what they'll do with some of these characters, especially if that X-23 movie comes into fruition. And it probably will. So this is Hawk and Dove, again, number one. Uh, specking on this again. Uh, this is the first appearance of the female Dove. Uh, like I said, uh, they're going to be featured on the Teen Titans TV show. So... Not a bad book to pick up if you can find it for a dollar or in a dollar bin, so check it out. So there's a new spec book that I picked up today. I paid, uh, paid roughly about $7 for this, which is not what it goes for online. So it's the first appearance of Kate Bishop, but it also is the first appearance of Wiccan and uh, Iron Lad, and there's a few uh, in Hulkling and um, uh, Young Patriots, so the Young Avengers. is the first appearance of all the Young Avengers. The only reason I picked this up is because they announced that there, there might be something going on with Vision and Scarlet Witch. Wiccan is, uh, the characters in this book are the children of the Scarlet Witch and the Vision. Uh, so this was just something I wanted to pick up, just thought uh, it might be a good spec book to pick up. Also, you can't go wrong with the first Kate Bishop, so they might use these characters in the future. So definitely look out for Young Avengers number one. Not very expensive to own, and there's so many, there's like five or six uh, first appearances in there. So I got this for $3, this is an interesting book, kind of just fell on me. Uh, this is The uh, Adventures of Spider-Man. So this uh, came out in uh, 1997. Uh, this is the final book in the series. It's kind of a rare book, according to most people online, uh, and uh, different things like that. But this is a pretty mint copy. It's a little, little bit of like discoloration, I think, in the cover, but it's pretty mint besides that. And it was signed by the artist, which is Alex uh, uh, Alex Sanuka. I can't pr pronounce it Sanuka or whatever. So it was signed by the artist anyway. So uh, uh, the adventures of Spider-Man are similar t uh, to the adventures of Batman and the adventures of Superman. These are these uh, based on cartoon show type books. Uh, there's also another one to look out for. It came out in 1995. It's the Spider-Man Adventures, which is the reverse. So it'll be Spider-Man then Adventures. And the, the, there's a number 10 uh, cover, which is pretty rare. Um, it has a picture of Venom on it also. So, But this is a, definitely a book to look out for. I only paid $2 for this, so it's kind of cool. 
really neat uh, signed uh, signed cover. All right. So uh, again, uh, this book here has really no significance. I just thought it was really cool. Uh, Hella defeating the Hulk, uh, 423. Just a really cool Hella cover. Uh, you know, definitely f uh, Thor Ragnarok. If you saw the movie, this is definitely a book to have in your personal PC. It's just fun. All right, not not worth very much. Two three bucks. So this is Jessica Jones number 12. This is a variant that came out. This is by Morissette Fan. Anyways, this is a beautiful, beautiful cover. I just, <laughs> I just really enjoyed this cover. This reminds me a lot of uh, some of the artists that I'm really into right now, and it's kind of like a watercolor kind of, uh, kind of like uh, definitely, definitely a beautiful Jessica Jones cover. So, uh, like I said, if you can find this, pick it up. If you're really into collecting covers and you're into art, this is definitely one to have. There's no significance to this. Just, uh, I just really, really think this is a beautiful cover. You know. This is the Invincible Iron Man 157. This is the first appearance of the Theron. Uh, it's an alien race uh, that are attack that try to eat Iron Man's suit. Anyways, kind of cool little mini mini key. This is Iron Man 164. That's the Chess Master. Uh, his first appearance is actually in 163. This is kind of cool. Just a neat. Uh, these are pretty good copies, so I just picked them up. They're all for a dollar, so. This is Iron Man 143. This is the first appearance of Suntonian Arthur uh, Dearborn. So that's Suntonian. Anyways, another small key. A lot of uh, his villains are not very. Uh, they don't. They, they don't go for a lot. Uh, even a lot of his books. Like I found these for in a dollar bin. Uh, they just don't really go for a lot. Iron Man wasn't very popular, uh, I guess, or it just. Uh, I, I guess they don't have long-term value. You know, so really like this these these like blue marks here on the side so these were actually sent back to be destroyed and never were destroyed so if you ever see this blue stuff on the comics let's see i don't know if you can see it. you can see it right there that means that the book they used to spray them and then they were sent back to be destroyed so somebody i guess didn't send it back and it just kind of got lost in the mix <laughs> it's kind of cool with these older books if you see that and there's the blue stuff anyways the, uh, the old um Matt and Logan 31. I love this cover. I think this is a really, really, really cool cover. And uh, this might have some significance in the long term because this is the first appearance of the Scarlet Samurai. So uh, we don't know who that is. You're going to have to check out uh, Old Man Logan 32. But this book is very affordable. So if you can find it, definitely pick it up. There's Lenticular and there's a 1 in 10 and a 1 in 25 variant that might be pretty lucrative for future sales. This is long term spec. So this is Moon Knight 1. 188 this is the renumbering again but uh, again this is a first appearance of a new villain so definitely a book to look out for it just came out this is thanos number 13 this is the first appearance of the cosmic ghost rider so definitely a new book to look out for uh i don't really get like a lot of these lenticular covers but this one was just kind of cool thanos on the cover it's just kind of neat so some of these newer books are easier to find, so they're not hard to find, just you gotta know, I guess, which ones are which, or what, what first appearances could be in there. So I'm a huge Ghost Rider fan, so Thanos 13. All right, so Batman, sort of Ezreal, uh, Ezreal's first appearance, you know, I got this for a dollar. It was pretty, pretty cool. Nice copy, solid. Infinity, number eight. So this is the uh, first appearance of the Black Order. Uh, if you're looking for, I think it's the first appearance of Corvus Glaive, it's in uh, Infinity, the free preview. I showed that in one of my last videos. So this is kind of like a book that goes with it. I found this for cover price. So yeah, Infinity of the Black Order. This book goes for quite a bit now. I don't know why it does. There is a lot of, the, there's quite a few of these printed. So anyways, if you can find it, pick it up. Definitely a book to flip. All right, so uh, yeah, this is a book I actually found for a dollar in a dollar bin, which was kind of nuts. Um, yeah, so this was one of the ones that I basically found when I was in uh, Burlington, Ontario, at the Burlington, uh, the Burlington Mall, University Mall, and uh, in this weird hobby shop. So um, yeah, he didn't know what this was, I guess, and left it in this one of these really like if you go into the Burlington Mall, there's tons and tons of in vermont there's tons and tons of boxes to go through so you could spend a couple uh three four hours going through boxes i went about an hour just digging through old boxes so this is the uh, first appearance of lobo so uh, yeah got that for a dollar pretty cool 
Um, nice key tone. Okay, so this is Web of Spider-Man 86. Uh, yeah, these Webs of Spider-Man have all these little mini keys in them. So this is another one of those mini keys. Uh, this is a character that I really liked. And I hope one day uh, becomes like a villain or at least becomes something in the uh, in uh, the Spider-Man universe or the, um, uh, well, whatever they're going to call it with Fox if Fox gets bought out by Disney. Anyways, so this is the first appearance of the Demo Goblin. So the Hobgoblin's, uh, I guess, uh, evil or darker side. So the Demo Goblin, it's him on the cover. Uh, yeah, first appearance, so it's kind of cool. I really like that character. Just a really cool character. And this one, I think everybody's shown off at least, or a lot of people have shown off this book. Uh, Batman, uh, annual number two, it's the date night. So uh, yeah, definitely a hot book right now. If you can pick it up, I got it for cover price. So yeah, just check uh, just look out for this one i guess until it uh, drops or don't buy it but definitely don't buy them off ebay because a lot of these books that are super hot or respecting on uh, sometimes don't kind of last especially with the newer newer books um i'm still waiting for the uh i'm still waiting for the um totally awesome hulk 22 to go down in price even the uh, second printing went up it's uh it's about uh, ten dollars now online which i was surprised about so uh, anyways, just uh, just be careful for those uh, quick eBay purchases. If you're really uh, you really want to buy a book, just wait. The prices will kind of go down and they will stabilize after a while. It's just when things are hot and they're out now, uh, people want everything right now. You're going to end up spending a lot more than you should. All right. All right, so this is my uh, big book of the week, I guess. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I try to show a, a pretty big book off at the end anyway. So this, without further ado, this is my grail. This is one of my grails. I'm super happy and super psyched to get this book. Friggin' awesome. Took uh, me a long time. I, I was eyeing this for about like a few months, you know. But uh, I, I saw it at a convention. I said, okay, I, I, need to, I need to get a copy. So Brave and the Bold, number 54 first appearance of the Teen Titans. Amazing, amazing copy. There was a, a double stapling going on here, so I, I refixed that. I, I got rid of the staples. You can see there's like some puncture holes, little tiny ones because of the staples, but uh, this book is solid. There wasn't anything wrong with it. I don't even understand why the person had tried to staple the book together that way uh, to reinforce it. Uh, this was a solid, solid book. And it's a really nice copy. Uh, I have no problems with this copy. I'm really happy to own it. It was for the right, it got it for the right price, and I'm thrilled. You know, just thrilled. Movies coming out, definitely anything Teen Titans um, try to check out for. Um, I'm trying to get a good copy. Next cop, I think the next one I'm going to try to do is the first modern Teen Titans, which is in um, uh, DC uh, Comics Presents. So that'll be the next one I'm going to try to look to buy. So, yep, yeah, so I got the first appearance of the Teen Titans in comics. That's just awesome. Just a really, really sick cover. Like I said, it's not it's not super super high grade, but it's uh, it's a it's a pretty solid copy. Like I said, there's not much wrong with this. All right, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it. And um, yeah, so if you uh, like I said, if you liked it, just like it. If you don't like it, it's cool. Don't like it. I don't I don't care. Give me the thumbs down. Never never upset about those kind of things. Everyone has their opinions on if this is good or bad. All I guess. <laughs> Anyways, uh, like I said. Check out uh, Comic Books 305, Spider Comics 7, the comic book Astit, and the Chinnis, man. These guys are really cool. Uh, these are really cool channels. They're going to be in the description below. Uh, Want to be collector? Area 80, uh, Area 51, both have contests still out. Try to try to get it into their contests. And, uh, you know, um, yeah, just uh, do what you got to do. And happy hunting this weekend. Hope you guys find what you're looking for. Okay, peace.